Well, tonight our LEX 18 Investigates team has learned new information in the murder of Amber Spradlin. She's the Prestonsburg woman found stabbed to death in a home on June 18th. As we reported, a 911 call was made from that home hours before she was found, but nobody responded. LEX 18's Lee Searcy tells us what she's learned about the content of that 911 call, and we want to warn you the details of the murder are disturbing. There are so many questions, rumors, and theories swirling about who might have killed Amber Spradlin. Her family says she was stabbed in the head, neck, and face 11 times. Her body found in the home of a prominent dentist. One of the biggest questions has been about a 911 call made from the home hours before Spradlin was found killed and why responders didn't go to check it out. Before now, we didn't know anything about what was said in that call, but now we do. I did get to listen to the 911 call, and in my opinion, I feel like it is something that should have been responded to. Dr. Debbie Hall is Spradlin's cousin. She stayed in touch with investigators. The phone call was not about Amber, and it was not made by Amber, but it was still information in the phone call that I feel like had it been anywhere else, there would have been a response. Someone would have, have at least made a welfare check. Dr. Hall told us the call mentioned a man was drunk and bleeding profusely, perhaps after a fall, and that someone had taken the phone and said they had it under control. Even if the call wasn't about Amber, Hall believes if officials had responded, it could have made a difference. So someone called 911, reported that someone was bleeding profusely and no one came. Correct. How do you wrap your he head around that? I think that it is terrible, uh, a, a bad injustice. We, um, sh the call should have been responded to. Hall says she's confident Kentucky State Police will get to the bottom of it. Right now, she says they're waiting on DNA and other evidence. I'm on the Justice for Amber page quite often, and every time I read someone's post about that this is being covered up or being swept under the rug or the KSP isn't doing their job, it really is upsetting to me because I do feel like the KSP is doing a very good job. She understands why people have questions. This was a violent killing that shook people to their core. She fought. This was not something that uh, was just seconds and done. She fought. For now, Hall and others wait for answers. And I think this is just so upsetting to so many people. This it, it, is just horrible. And I think that most people really want to see someone answer for what they've done. Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.